I'm sorry, but I just can't swallow oh, this right on, now. come on, darling. He's hung like a sperm whale, for pity's sake. How can you not feel the part? But Stevie... Now's my star director. Oh, man, the struggle between mm. the artistic integrity and the humping, pumping <sighs> action continues unabated. <laughs> and before you ask, yes, all four videos will be released mm. by their... Honey, can you please keep the Andacon in the shot? He costs more per hour than you do. Oh, sorry, Steve. I was thinking, we need some kind of big stunt to really promote the launch. Mm. Something that will make a real impact on this city. You got any ideas? No. Mm. Well, in the old days, they used to have gala events, stars, limos, the night sky crisscross with searchlights. Searchlights. I got an idea. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, little sequin numbers and the limos. Uh, oh, mm. premieres. Oh, yes, uh, ma'am. Of course, yeah. ma'am. And the mm. press and the barrage of lights. People in America today, they call this a cold war, but it's hotter than hell. Mark my words, any day now you're sitting in school passing notes and talking about the prom when suddenly you look out the window and there are Russian paratroopers dropping in to take over. What can you do? Run into the woods with your friends? Call yourselves the Wolverines? Put twigs in your hand? Try to beat back the Ruskies? No, you hightail it to pass the Richard Salvation statue and blast off into space. But there is a limited amount of space. That's why I suggest anyone who wants the safety and security of your own bunker, give now. Call 866-9-SAVE-ME. We'll get you on the payment plan, and if you're paid in full on D-Day, you and your family will be safe. If not, you may have to choose to save yourself and leave the others behind. Hey, hey, hey. Did you go through me? Did you know in India, the women protest by setting themselves on fire? I tell you, next time the kids are screaming for ice cream and pie, I may just douse myself in kerosene. I use that as a threat to my kids all the time, so it's no wonder they're so screwed up. That's one of the tough things about being a mom, not ruining their lives with guilt. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't let my kids watch cartoons or slasher flicks. Really? That so Knife After Dark shit. movie may be number one in the box office, but my kids certainly ain't gonna see it. If you don't raise your kids right, they end up being like Nude Boy over there or uh, working in radio. I want them to get proper jobs, like being a doctor, not a patient. That is offensive. My mother understood I was special. She made me wear a bonnet as a child, and when I demanded to go to school naked, she was fine with it. After social services moved me, she would still write to me. I still remember when she kissed me goodbye. Earlier, you said you discovered naturism, taking your clothes off, whatever it is in Germany. Maurice, I need a hug. There's another example of immorality in this city. Public showing of affection. People think we want to see the making out and carrying on. I understand your whole... We're building a statue and we need your help. Call me now. You know, pretty soon you won't be able to tell who's a human and who's an android. Why, the corporation is working on it. Oh. I'm sorry, Maurice, but I have to tell you, I moved to Florida to bring my kids up the American way in a theme park. And that's just the kind of person I am, opinionated and moronic. I see. Well, this panel is certainly interesting. The issue is morality. Recently, rock artists joined together to provide famine aid to Alaska with the song, Do They Know It's the Fourth of July? Critics complain it's immoral to meddle in the affairs of other peoples and cultures. Pastor Richard, what? Uh, what do you make of meddling in other people's business like an over-opinionated sociopath? Well, let me say that money could have gone to much better things like reserving a place by my side in the Pastor Richard Salvation statue. But I digress and plug. 
Stop doing Don't that. Don't interrupt me, boy. Anywho, I address the Alaska issue in Chapter 23 of my book. You see, the Alaskans are lunatics, plain and simple. They eat whales and snow and are asleep in the freezer. Who wants to eat snow every day? Oh, I tried to help. I sent a helicopter with copies of my book, but they burned them in a pile for heat. If the people of Alaska choose to live there, let them. But don't come crying when you're tired of eating penguin and it snows 18 feet a day. Yes, but don't you think it's important? I think it's very important to listen to me, young man. That's what makes the state of Florida great. Rather than help improve where they are, people nationwide abandon their hometowns, come down here, and shove their beliefs down everyone else's throat. That's the American way, always has been. We should send some pictures of Florida to those people in Alaska. I tell you, they'd throw down that bare pelt, saddle up the sled dogs, and get pulled all the way to Vice City. And I should know, I'm from Mars. No, you're not. Uh, Mars, Alabama. I found it. Listen to this. Stick in your hand, shifting gears over and over. Truckers realize there's nothing to be ashamed of on the open road. Get naked and beat it on down the line. You've never seen a sense of community and morality like a nudist colony. We share everything, the cooking, cleaning, wives, a shared sense of what it's like to be a complete social outcast. Oh, uh, wait right there, Barry. I'm getting something through the cats. Uh, the headphones, that is. Yes? What do you want, Paul? I don't want any fake label clothes. Very funny, mate, but you know I don't touch bank gear. No, I was just calling to see if I could get a part in one of your movies. Back in England, I did a lot of blue stuff, mate. I'm packing more weight than you, my son. Paul, thanks for the offer. I'll bear that in mind. Seriously, don't forget about me. I feel I've done for you. That's what I'm trying to forget about. <laughs> We're not going away, and if we do, it won't be on purpose. Where are we, dear Creek? We're on the radio, love. Stop dragging me down. I told you, if you ride a whirlwind, don't be surprised when the dawn breaks. Where were we? Ugh, she's really getting on my nerves. Why are you waving your hands at me? Oh, I'm supposed to go to commercial. I'll be right back. Oh, lady. <laughs> Howdy. Welcome to Farewell Ranch. They say the golden years are the best years of your life, but for many seniors, they just stink up the house and make the grandkids feel uncomfortable with unmodeled affection. Now, your old people can be earning you money and enjoying the final years of Farewell Ranch. It's Cattle Ranch and Crematorium, where the cowboys are all over 75. They'll enjoy rodeos, marketing... Away, we'll send you a presentation package VHS with the spurs and boots they're wearing as they went on to a fair world. All residents sure love it here, right, Norm? <laughs> Pajamas, Chinese bandana, 
something missing? With a throwing star, kendo sticks, or nunchucks at Vice City's one-stop shop for the silent fashion assassin. Wow, you look like a psycho. Complete the look. Hi, I'm Amy, and you're on K-Chat. Jess, you were telling me about the music? Hi, yeah. You know, we wear these costumes to appeal to the working man, because after you spend a day working in a steel mill, you want to wear tight leather clothes and play air guitar. That's what we're about. The recent album was a musical trip through hell, and I think it shows. Oh, yeah, it does. I mean, I saw Satan. He didn't like what he saw in me. He saw darkness, but also a gentle side. Ask man, I can find treasure in the dark. It's that. It's that. Whistle. Thing? Yeah, that's the thing that typifies me as an artist. Heart and soul. Head and trousers. Everything. That's what you get at one of my shows. Jazz Torrent and Love Fist will really show you, you know. We take the soul into darkness. Bring your lighters. You know, I invented that. I'm about had out of wankers ripping off my vibe. I wore women's clothing first. Why? Because it tells you about light. And Be careful, all right? Eyes, really. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Jazz. I've always thought your music really lets people see into your soul. Right, into great big pools of pain, like. 